This is ComfyUI and in this video, I will show you how to install it directly from the official GitHub repo. This is the best method as you will always get the up-to-date version of ComfyUI. We will set up everything you need, Git, Python, VS Code and also CUDA if you got an NVIDIA GPU. By the end of the video, you will be able to finish up installing ComfyUI from their official GitHub repo and you should be running on your local machine. So let's get started. Before we install ComfyUI, uh, we need to fulfill some prerequisite. First of all, we will need to install Git. Git is basically going to be the one tool that is going to help us to pull the code from the GitHub. As well as next time if there is an update, we can also pull the update from the GitHub. So now to install the Git, just go to their official website for Git. This is their official website for Git. I will definitely provide this link. So just download for whichever operating system is yours. Uh, if it's for Mac OS, download for Mac. If it's for Windows, for Linux, just download for it. Uh, for me, I'm using Windows, so I'll just download for my Windows. So my download has already started. And also, we'll need to install, if not already installed, we need to install Python. Computer uses Python, so we'll need to install the Python, the latest version of Python. This is the Python official website, and we're going to install the latest version for Python. To download, just click here. Because I'm using Windows, it automatically detects, and I can just download for Windows. So it has started downloading. And also, we'll need an IDE. Most beginner friendly and easy to use IDE is Visual Studio Code. So I will just suggest you to use Visual Studio Code. But if you're using anything else, uh, feel free to use that as well. No problem. For me, I'll be using Visual Studio Code. So it's just going to download from their official website and it started downloading. And also, we're going to need you to install NVIDIA CUDA. Go to their official website. I'm using Windows, so I'll just select Windows, then Architecture x86, then Windows 11. Because we are going to run ComfyUI locally, we're just going to select locally and we're going to just download from here. So now, once the download starts, you just have to wait for each of these files to be downloaded and just install one by one. And after that, we move into our next step. So when you are done installing everything, uh, now you're going to open up your Visual Studio Code. Once inside the Visual Studio Code, make sure you go to File and click on Open Folder and you can just create a new folder. So as you can see, I'm inside a folder. Now all you have to do is just go to your terminal, click on New Terminal. So once you are inside your new terminal, now go back to the ComfyUI repo and just copy this link and go back to your VS Code. Here you're just going to type git clone. You're going to paste your repo link and just click enter. It will automatically clone everything. So it's going to take some time because it's going to download everything. So it's just copying from your GitHub. Uh, remember we installed the Git. So Git is actually responsible for this. If you're using for the very first time you might be required to sign in using a git account so just create one it's very easy and simple as you can see i'm already done installing so i'm just going to go to my computer folder so we are inside the computer directory you can also go like this you can just open folder and inside your new folder you should have a computer you again go to your terminal and create your new terminal like that is also okay now as you can see we are also inside the ComfyUI whichever method you want you can do it so why once you are inside the ComfyUI directory uh, if you see the directory you have all this code which might be as a first time if you don't have any knowledge regarding the coding and so on it might be a bit confusing but no need to be afraid so only file that you have to take care of you need to run this one main.py and before running this there are some prerequisites that you have to do we're going to create a virtual environment so what is virtual environment to understand this let's look into an example here you have your operating system and inside your operating system you're working on two projects project one and project two for each of this project you're using different python version as well as different libraries that is needed for that project you're using different version of that library in this example we are using for project one python 2.8 for project two python 3.14 and also you can see the numpy version is different in both projects now if we do a global install for both python and also for the numpy the both of this project will share the same version meaning that there will be conflict for example if we install python 3.14 project 1 is not going to run so vice versa now to tackle this what we do we're going to be creating virtual environment virtual environment is like a container 
so for project one you create a virtual environment one and for project two you create a virtual environment now we put both of the project inside a container now for project one we're going to use this virtual environment to install the specific python version as well as the libraries version that is required for project one for project two we're going to do the same thing that is we're going to install the required python version and required number version so that it doesn't conflict one another if we look into the definition for the virtual environment a python virtual environment is like a separate box for each project where you can keep the exact python version and libraries that is needed for that specific project so that it doesn't create conflict with any other existing project that you might have in your system so basically that is what virtual environment now let's go back to our main topic what we're going to do is we're just going to be creating our virtual environment to create a virtual environment you just copy paste this one and name your virtual environment in this case i'll just keep it simple bnb and that's it so as you can see here my python was not found so if you see this arrow just come here and just change it to pi and it's going to fix your problem uh, you have to give your permission yes and that's it you have your new virtual environment and you can also see the folder has been created already first we need to make sure that we activate our virtual environment to activate our virtual environment what you have to do so just copy and paste it First is going to be your name of the virtual environment. My virtual environment name is VENV and just enter. Now as you can see my virtual environment is activated. So there is one more step you have to do. Come here and you see this requirement.txt. You can see there are many Python dependency or libraries that this center code base has been using. So we need to make sure that our virtual environment actually has this installed so that our code can run so all you have to do is we have to install our requirements file install just copy this one and just paste it so pip install dash r requirements.txt is going to install all of these libraries in our virtual environment so uh, we have successfully installed our requirement.txt every dependency that we needed to run the conf ui now we have to go to the conf ui github page again one more time uh, once you are inside you just scroll down here you can see the guide on how to set up everything for example if you're on amd gpu you have to follow this guide if you're using intel gpu you have to follow this guide but as i'm running nvidia gpu so i have to follow uh, this guide so first what you have to do uh, in my experience installing config ui for several times first the best thing is to copy this one pip install torch we're just going to install the existing version of the torch once that is done now we're going to be installing the PyTorch for NVIDIA. So we're just going to copy this. I'm just going to come here and just paste it over here. Uh, just it's going to take some time because it's going to be a bit less file. So it's total three gigabytes. Just wait for it to finish downloading. We have successfully installed our PyTorch uh, for our NVIDIA GPU. Now what we have to do is uh, going to run our code. So to run this, the most important file is this main.py. So we're going to just run this to run a Python file. What you have to do is Python, then main.py. This is the name of that Python file and just click enter. And it should run on your local host. It's just starting, it's going to be checking everything. For me, I'm using RTX 3060, it just detected it. So for you, if it doesn't detect, then you have to redo the previous step again but most cases it will be detected 100% no worries so it's working and as you can see it's already running now you just open the link using ctrl plus click and it should be running on your local host and that's it you have successfully installed confuy so that's it for this tutorial but before i finish this i will also like to show you some example images that i created using the confuy i was using a stable diffusion model one of the popular image generation model and I was using a text to image workflow that I got it from Comfy official website. And here are some examples that you can watch. And again, thank you so much for watching all the way through. And if you want to see part two of this video where I set up and use Comfy UI and also share some tips and tricks, let me know in the comment section. And also if you have any suggestion, also feel free to suggest. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.